Oh, he's lost it. He's lost it. Oh, a bit of luck. We don't deserve it. Okay, guys, here we go. We qualified in third. We are now in fifth for some strange reason. Go, go, go. Thank you so much, AI, for dropping me back. This is why I really like it if you could start the race like you can in the Sinti Corsa Competizione. But anyway, let's stop having a little bit of a whinge and get going in the race. So we had a really good qualifying. Really enjoyed this track, actually. A track I'm not super, super familiar with. But I did really enjoy it. Uh, we've done a 1 minute 44.8, I think it was, around here, which nothing magical, but again, probably, you know, pretty good for my standards. So uh, we'll try and get back a position that we just got shafted by the AI without blowing the engine. So I'm using the same setup I had before in my last race, just tweaked a few things during the sort of half hour qualifying phase. And, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. And uh, it feels a lot more planted, a lot more stable, which I think I kind of need at the moment, considering the way I drive. But yeah, I do really, really like this track. It's really nice to drive on. Try and concentrate here, guys. I do apologize. Mike's put me off as well, I can see it in the corner of my eye. Again, during qualifying, because I'm not talking and I haven't got a mic right close by my arms, which makes me a bit conscious where I put my arms. Whoa! It does really kind of put you off just a little bit seeing it. I'm just making excuses. So Charles Burks is leading the race. Uh, we've got Burke in second and drives down four in front of me. Obviously, Depor is down in six, who is my arch rival so far in this uh, campaign. Wow, just kind of. Oh. On your right. Hey, right. Raphael Marciello is having a really good campaign. And the Merc has gone! Car left. Clear left. Absolutely spinning out there. 360, almost like the last race that we saw. I'll take some of that. Let's see if we can just chase down now. Bryce Van Thor. We're under pressure though from Raphael Marciello, who is the championship leader at the moment. Right side. Clear right. Just really mistiming that, really. Amazing how different I end up driving while talking. Oh, come on, Will. Tires are looking nice and green. That's been my main priority so far in this championship is trying to tame the McLaren's tires because they do really get eaten up and uh, it does destroy your race. Okay, there's something dodgy going on with the gear shifts there. Coming down my left hand side, we have to close it off. I'm conscious of that mic. Have to move up a bit, I think. There we go. The leader has just done 144.74. 144, okay, it's faster than I can do. Really struggling here to close the gap. Leader is long gone. Oh. No, way too slow, Will. Wake up, William. Look at that. Three seconds ahead almost now. What I don't want to do is start overdriving. Right. It's coming through my right hand side. Play right. Here comes the pressure. Oh right, god. Well, this kind of <laughs> oh Jim. I get distracted by almost anything. He's gonna come through. Just try and hold him off for as long as we can. 
Oh, lost it then. I'm under pressure, just absolutely collapsing here. Oh, God. What do I even bother? Right side, clear right. Your water temperature is creeping up. Ten oh, minutes Jim. to go. That's ten minutes left. Play out through here. The lift just a smidge. Rise Van Thor, I mean, he's pulling away. Both front two are really. It's a poor corner. But it's kind of what you've probably come to expect now with my driving. All about getting better and practicing, increasing the consistency, not fluffing things, dealing with the pressure. Ooh. <laughs> M6 behind me. A really low growl. Here he comes at a slow exit there. On your right. Still there. I knew he was going to come down. I want to leave the space. Clear right. Battle of well. Come on, don't let him get away. Car in front of the best gym. Much yellow. Tires and sign look a bit yellow. I don't know what's going on with the gears at the moment. I didn't touch the gears or anything. I left them as they are. Traction control was on quite high as well. So, uh, you know, not very good at keeping the back end in. The fastest lap for Reds, 144.72. Seven minutes left. Much yellow. Ahead is now 0.7 P4. They take that corner so much faster. The AI. Starting third, we're now in fourth. Again, I, I seem to be punching my weight in qualifying, and then come the race, just collapse like a kid's Lego brick. Just again, I can definitely feel kind of the grip reducing every lap. And again, it's not like I'm driving harder or trying to push harder. Just I can literally just feel the grip, the car becoming like it's floating more than it usually would. And it just get, makes the turning just a little bit less responsive. And the back end a little less predictable. And that really does give a big blow to your confidence in like coming into a corner and then also coming out because you're worried about losing that back end. And I can see now my rear left hand tyre is up to 94 degrees. I... Oh, these damn tyres. I... Your front brakes are getting pretty hot. Oh Jim, it's all adding up now, isn't it? Tyres, brakes, losing a position, not being able to keep up with the AI. We've got a long way to go, guys. Much yellow in front is now 2.4. Absolute chaos, but we've got five minutes. I just really struggling to keep up with the front three here. This is why they are up there in the points. Charles Burtz, Van Thor, and Marciello are the kind of championship leaders at the moment, and it definitely stands out as we can see. 
said he will. Just again, I can just feel that back end just trying to get away. Way too slow round there. Okay, well, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Come on, stay focused. Apexes and exits, apexes and exits. Good little sound there, Jim. I'm more like no apexes and slow exits. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, McLaren! You're killing me, mate, you're killing me. Absolutely love you in a set of Corsa Competizione. Yeah, but not so much in Automobilista. Definitely missing the Porsche. I think I say that in every episode, don't I? I'm missing the Porsche. I love that kind of rear engine kind of handling. Although we kind of got the same here, but just a different kind of way. And you're just not turning. It's so painful, guys. Like every race, we just seem to end up having to fight the car through the whole thing. Look at this, I'm just getting pulled out. We've now got three minutes left. I need to really find a setup that's going to help me have the consistency in the race because it's really, really struggling to. It's almost, whether I do a 15 minute race or a 20 minute race, it's all roughly around the same kind of point where it's like a 10 minute and your tyres just, and they just, it's not a gradual drop off, it's literally like, you can feel it completely just like change the car's handling dynamics, which is really frustrating because, I mean, I'd like more than maybe 10 laps out of a set of tyres. I mean, if Gasly can go around Back hill on a set of softs. Ratinger is getting closer. The gap's now by oh, two. And do 30 odd laps of them. I think I'd like a few more out of these to be honest. Here we will. Oh, see, look at that. Oh, this is ridiculous. 144.68. I really don't understand this, guys. If any of you know or have a setting that maybe you can find a nice balance for the McLaren, let me know down below because it's almost kind of making me like lose faith in having races or longer races because of just the way the car just miraculously completely drops off. Look, I'm almost turning the wheel more than 90 degrees just to go around a corner that I was turning half the diameter. Captain Marcello, the head is increasing. It's so, now more than 90 degrees. Seconds. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. You break temperature. Right, two okay. minutes. Just stay focused. Keep a happy face on. <laughs> happy face. We're fourth. Better than being last. The car behind though. Getting very, very close. Just, oh, McLaren is so hard to fight this. Just have zero faith, guys. Zero faith in in the car right now. Just to do what I want it to do. Just having to lift off far more, Default. turn the wheel far more, brake a lot earlier. I don't remember having this when I was driving the Porsche. I felt the Porsche was doesn't want to change down. There we go. Look at this, just can't keep it on the road. Really strange with the gears as well. I'm going from first and seconds hitting the limiter straight away. Very peculiar. 2.8 seconds, this is incredible how much time I lose. Oh, you absolute sausage McLaren. I literally cannot turn the car for the life and love of me. Look at this, I'm literally fighting it as much as I can right now. Crazy. 
crazy, absolutely crazy. Here comes the Porsche. Are we going to make fourth, guys? Oh, McLaren! We have collapsed again in the race. All over you. Keep your exit speeds up. Stay smooth. Here comes the Porsche. Oh, Willie! On your right. Play right. Oh, this McLaren, I can't. Literally, guys, I, I say it in my last race, I think, as well. It is so, so incredibly hard to control the car on the last, like, halfway through a race. It just completely drops off. I'm literally trying to fight to keep it on the track. I can't even attempt to dive bomb. Look, can't turn. Oh, I'm so disappointed. But we got fifth. Again, it's better than nothing. We've got another lap. Oh, guys, we've got another lap. This is where it becomes very difficult. Absolutely nothing. Oh, he's lost it! He's lost it! Oh! A bit of luck! We don't deserve it. But I'll have it though. I thought he was going to get fifth. But at the moment... We are fourth. Which is absolutely brilliant. In a car. It's almost like driving a tank at the moment. Okay, Barry. I'll see you by the curtains, Barry. Don't put me off. It's the cat. That's not my cat. It does feel like I'm almost floating, guys. Like, it's just like the car's kind of going like this, and you don't feel like you've got that connection with the tyres, which is a real shame because on the first three or four laps, the car feels fantastic, and then the drop off is very detrimental to kind of controlling it. But, guys, there we go, we've got four. Okay. Over. What we'll do, we'll jump in, we'll have a look at the charts. Um, apologies if i kind of been a bit moany there, guys. I just really find it frustrating with the car when it, the grip just completely disappears. But if you're playing the game and you play GT3, guys, you might be experiencing the same thing. But if you do have a setup that you think can kind of nerf this a little bit, let me know. Let me know down below and uh, I'll have a look into because I need help, guys. I need help for the car. I can't, I can't drive it. <laughs> anyway, let's have a look at the charts and see where we are. So here's for the uh, race results. Charles Vert's got 26 points. Drys Van Thor got 18. Raffaello Marciello, the championship leader at the moment, got 15. Uh, he was down in 6th or 7th, I believe, in qualifying. My cat's trying to climb out the window there. And um, uh, we managed a good 4th, which I was quite happy with, to be honest. I was moaning a bit. I do apologise. Just very frustrated sometimes. I'm sure you're aware sim racing isn't always smiley happy joys but um we got fifth in the championship at the moment so we actually dropped down a point we were fourth at the moment so we're now in fifth with 65 points rafael and marciello 144 charles Wirtz is climbing up there now had two wins recently drives Red Bull hasn't actually won a race but he's had six podiums which has kept him up there so um yeah so we're doing all right guys anyway hope you enjoyed it i hope you managed to put up with me and i will catch you in the next race we've got about three more races to go so fingers crossed we're in canada next so i will see you then guys adios bye bye